We sang at his 80th birthday part celebration at the Philharmonic. Oh my God, what yeah. a night. What a night. I mean, it was... That's really true. The music started and every... Oh, you, it was an old... You can't believe everything he's written and how diverse. Yeah. And yeah. He's like an actor the way each each show is a different character, the way he writes it. He, he approaches it like an actor, I should say. Yeah. And, um, and Elaine, did you learn that song for that? For that? Show? It was great. Uh, I'm still here. Oh no, I did that in the United Stretch of Liberty. Oh, you I, did? Yeah. Oh. But never mind. No, still. You know, I mean, two, done. three, four, five, six, seven years go by and you you don't know I'm still oh, here. Oh, forget it. And she sang I'm Still Here. Which is, she was brilliant, you know. And so that was a great night. When everybody sang Sunday, <gasps> he was, he was, how could you not? He was, it's how many sing. people were out there singing Sunday? They were in all the balconies and all the everywhere, everywhere you look. All people that have ever been in his shows from all time, way before and now, and Roca. I mean, to be there to tell them how much they loved him, and that's what killed him. <laughs> that's what's so emotional. That's what's a lot to take. All that love. Have you ever heard anything like it? If each person was better than the last, yeah. it was extraordinary. And you can imagine Steve sitting out there. You know, when he holds back his feelings all the time. God forbid that Steve thought you got through that well. Well, that night he he didn't hold so, back. So he just let it yeah, go. It was like, mm -hmm. He was just so emotional. So. And to feel love from an artist like that, and for someone who is as privileged as he is, with talent coming out of him, he really is frighteningly talented.